Clover Fresh Milk is the number one milk brand in SA. Made with love by Clover. Welcome back to the Afternoon Express. Now, nothing beats the timeless taste of a classic recipe. And of course, with the classic range from Clover, it is an easy, easy recipe to bring back that timeless taste. As Chef Chumi sets to show a really classic barbecue glazed meatloaf. SMS the keyword Clover to 33650 to get this recipe sent directly to your device. SMSs are one round fifty each and free SMSs do not apply. <gasps> yes, Yummy, girl. So, yeah, we're going to get into this right now because this is one of the, the perfect recipes to have in store in, in your pantry. In lockdown. Basically right now because you basically need to make sure you've got as much of, uh, of I mean, you've got enough nutrients, you've got all of yes. that trying to stay healthy and all of that. So we want to make sure that we give people recipes that are simple to make, easy to freeze, but also very convenient. And a lot of people are panic buying right now. So this recipe is perfect because I know everyone has mints in their fridge, you know. Mm -hmm. So this meatloaf that I'm making over here is very simple. Um, you can always pack it up with more ingredients if you'd like. So for instance, if you want to add more veggies, this is the perfect time to do that. So what I've got Beautiful. here is I've got our mince and I've got some uh, garlic and onion that we've just sauteed on the stove over there. I'm adding my salt and pepper just for additional flavor. And our hero ingredient here is our Clover Classic yogurt-based uh, yogurt drink, um, snack, sorry. And we're gonna put that into our meatloaf. This not only helps with the binding, but it helps with the flavor as well. So whenever a person is making this meatloaf, I do suggest that they try and make sure that the meat is brought to room temperature, because mm -hmm. that actually allows with the, the actual meat absorbing as much of that flavor. If it's too cold, it yeah. actually gets very dry when you, when you cook it. So I've added there our uh, yogurt-based dairy snack. I'm adding some breadcrumbs. And then I'm also adding some Worcestershire sauce. While I'm doing that, actually, you could maybe get started with the barbecue sauce yeah, for please. us, which is going to be the glaze on top of our, our meatloaf. What would you like me to add? So you can literally go in with all those ingredients. And what that okay, is, so what is, is you've got tomato sauce. Tomato sauce. You've got, some, got some brown, brown sugar. sugar. A whole the whole load. All of it, all of it. I what like is this one. Chutney. I like sweeter barbecue sauces, yeah. Yeah, nice. So that would be perfect for that as well. And what's in here? Vinegar. And that's some red wine vinegar, yes. Oh, lovely. Right, perfect. So while you're doing that, you can just uh, whisk that together with that tiny little whisk. The one, thing I, <laughs> the one thing I love about the recipes that we're trying to give people right now is it's recipes that you can actually get involved, like the entire family can get involved. So you can get the kids getting busy with the sauce, you can get the husband busy with the meat, you can sit in the lounge, give instructions if you're the wife, because we do this all the time, so it's about time to get some other people involved. Yeah. So yeah, you get everyone involved and then everyone enjoys a meal at the end of the day. Yeah. So perfect, I've mixed up everything into Look our... Look how strong you are, you were able to get that so beautiful. I've been so doing these exercises. Yes, we are on <laughs> lockdown, but I am working. This is how Ouch. you plan on staying fit. <laughs> yeah, this is another thing that I love that you can actually get the entire kitchen, the entire house healthy and ready by means of um, cooking in the kitchen. Beautiful. So what I've got here, some interesting facts for people. Let me just put this over here. I've got some wax paper. I've drawn some lines on the uh, on the back of it. And then this is basically a trick if you'd like to bake uh, bread, if you'd like to make this meatloaf as well, to make it easier for you to get the wax paper into your, into your baking dish. So this is for the loaf tin. And then can I ask you to... Yeah, I've never actually seen this done before. I'm fascinated with what is this is going to turn out. But this is so that it, it doesn't end up being sticky. It doesn't stick to the... so that the meatloaf doesn't stick, but also so that you can pull it out easier. So it's going to make it easier for oh, you to yeah. pull it out. And hold the shape. Yes, and like it holds the shape the... of the actual okay. loaf. Perfect. So, so you go in amazing. there. And then what's going to happen is you basically... these corners just fold. Okay. Wait, where did the corners go? So these, let me show you. So these corners are folding into each other Did now. I do it properly? Yes. Oh, there you go. So they basically fold into each oh, other. I'm touching hands, but don't worry, we've been washing our hands. And, and sanitizing like crazy. I've basically <laughs> cleaned the first layer of skin <laughs> off my hands today. I know, right? I okay. literally have no more skin left. This yeah. is like the last of it. So I'm going to hold that down for you. Thank you, you so you much. Again. And then you can go in there with the rest of our meatloaf. Oh. You know what? I love meatloaf. The meal and the band. <laughs> <laughs> Trust really, you, Jenny. Really I love you with these, all these facts of you. I love, I love that. Okay. Awesome. So we've gone in with our meatloaf. That's going to go into the okay. oven and bake for 55 minutes. Is this minutes. full afterwards? No, this is actually going to go in there as well. But okay. I do suggest for most people, because you want it to be almost like basting on top, so you're going to go in with the first layer, which is going to cook and caramelize on the top, and then you're going to come out with... You're going to 
uh, take it out after, let's say, 40 minutes, and then go in with the second layer. And okay. then basically... So that it keeps on... Getting, yes. And the sugar obviously makes it nice and crispy yes. on the top. Once it caramelises, it's going to lose... It's going to bake up, it's going to caramelise all that sugar and... Our beautiful dish over there, Stunning. perfect. You can enjoy it any time during the day. You can freeze it if you'd like. You can put it inside a sandwich. You can you To can me, do this is stunning. It is now probably going to be one of my favourite lockdown yes. recipes. Absolutely gorgeous. Remember to SMS the keyword Clover to 33650 to get this recipe sent directly to your device. And you may have missed any of the steps, but here's a quick reminder in case you did. Made with love by Clover. Clover Fresh Milk is the number one milk brand in SA. Made with love by Clover.